My name is Dr Ian Groves and I'm Head of Consulting at the Advanced Wireless Technology Group. I'd like to introduce the Quality of Experience web browsing monitor that we've recently introduced to market. But before I do that, I'd like to give you an overview of the company. Who are AWTG? I'll then go on to the benefits of using our Quality of Experience tool, give you a product overview and present some case studies which show the tool in operation. The Advanced Wireless Technology Group was formed in 2006. It was founded by a number of industry and academic telecom professionals with some 100 years of experience between them. AWTG offers system experience in second and third generation mobile systems, packet access, long-term evolution mobile strategies, as well as the existing and emerging wireless LAN and WiMAX services. In addition to the wireless network services, our experts offer training and consultancy. We're headquartered in London, with offices in Dubai, Sweden, Riyadh, Bahrain and Norway. AWTG, as you might expect, offers the full range of services, from the planning and design of mobile networks through their deployment to management of the networks once they're installed. In addition, we offer consultancy over this whole range of technologies. A particular advantage of working with AWTG is that we have our own tools and engineering support and we offer free training to our customers. The current range of activities within AWTG is shown in this slide. Planning and optimization of mobile networks has long been the mainstay of the company, but we have expanded into WiMAX and are now looking very much at quality of end user experience becoming a major part of our remit. So what are the benefits of the AWTG quality of experience tool? Why is it important? The user experience is the ultimate measure of how subscribers perceive the performance of a network and of its services. A good user experience achieves customer loyalty. A poor user experience will result in dissatisfied customers and churn. Mobile network operators are increasing their efforts to understand and accurately measure customer experience as the key driver for customer retention. But traditional objective network performance measures and tools are unlikely to prove the most effective when measuring customer experience. The traditional and commonly used approach is to use network element-based tools to monitor and analyse the performance of the network and to use some form of network KPI as a reflection of the customer experience. This is really starting at the network end and working towards the customer. But the customer has his unique own actual customer experience. How do we fill this gap? This is where we aim with the AWTG QOE tool to fill the gap between the actual customer experience and the detailed measurements on the network. By starting with the actual customer experience, we can then drill down to those specific network metrics which reveal any problems with the network. Where does the AWTG QOE tool sit? Well, it sits near the top of a pyramid of measurements that are possible. Subjective UE tools would cover things like mean opinion stores. Detailed network measurements and KPIs require us to produce enormous amounts of data. Where the AWTG call sits, it seeks to minimise the amount of data you need to produce to still ensure that you get a good quality of performance from your mobile network. AWTG also will save you some money. There are cost benefits in using this type of tool rather than the traditional network element measurement tools, whereby the more data you seek to achieve, the greater your cost levels will be. So there are real savings to be made by adopting a tool which starts with the customer experience and works back into the metrics of the network.
For a product overview, let's look at how the tool operates. In simple words, the tool has two functions. The first thing it does is to provide an automated and accurate web browsing tool. This takes you to a number of pages, the landing page of the website, and enables you to perform journeys through that website to visit further pages. Whilst this is in operation, the tool is also actively measuring the mobile broadband performance and providing a number of unique KPIs unique to this system. Having made those measurements, the data is uploaded to the AWTG website and the analysis of these measurements is made and presented back to the client. The AWTG tool is not limited to any particular technology. Because it operates at the application level, it is agnostic to the linked layer performance. So it can be applied to traditional mobile network operators, to Wi-Fi, WiMAX operators, or even a traditional fixed line internet service provider. How it works, we take a standard broadband modem and attach that with its normal operating software to our laptop. We load the AWTG quality of experience software package and we configure the interface of that package to provide our landing pages and journey through the internet. Having made the measurements, these are uploaded to the AWTG site and the performance analysis presented back to the, to the end customer. The detail of the interface is shown on this slide and there is a further demonstration video which takes you through a live session which is available. We configured the sites we wish to visit, detailed journeys through any one of those sites and we set a schedule of when do we want to operate the particular tests. We can repeat the measurements a number of times on one occasion and schedule say to repeat the whole measurement process every hour. The tool can be used to benchmark the performance of a number of operators at a given time, again putting the results back for analysis either by the automated process on our website or for more detailed analysis using our own consultants. We have a flexible licensing approach which we'd be very happy to discuss with any end user. We believe the AWTG quality of it experience tool to be unique and the features we would offer are a full free service trial, it is compatible with all broadband modems, it will provide for automatic web browsing of any website including those that are Ajax based, it is easy to set up and use, has a flexible pricing structure and has a service based business model. Finally, let me introduce some case studies which show the quality of experience tool in operation. In our first test, we looked at the performance of three networks, a Wi-Fi network and two mobile network operators. We were looking at the download time as each network visited one of three websites. What soon became apparent was that for mobile network operator 3, the download times were significantly larger than for the other networks. By drilling down deeper into our analysis tool and looking at the HTTP application objects, we soon began to realize that for mobile network operator 3, significantly more data was being downloaded for the same website. For the first website, perhaps 46% more data. When we visited Facebook, over 200% more data was being downloaded. The figure below shows that this extra data is coming from the application content. And on these websites, the application objects consist mainly of JavaScript objects. And what we conclude is that most likely the internal network uh, web server for this operator was incorrectly set. The server was not providing content encoding compression of the application objects. And by enabling this, it is expected that they would improve web performance of the network, 
as well as saving significant amounts of bandwidth. In the second case, we were looking at the performance of two mobile network operators, which were known to be near identical in terms of their network strengths. Lower level analysis using their KPIs showed no reason to justify a difference in performance between the two networks. Yet the quality of experience tool was showing significant differences again in download speed, perhaps two to one in the case shown. Further analysis with the tool showed that there was an unusually high number of TCP connections being established when downloading web pages from the better network. In the case of Google site, perhaps two to one. On other sites, such as the BBC site, significantly higher number of TCP connections. The reason for this was the difference in performance of the network caused by, rather than the traditional case of generating the web page by approaching the, the distant server, the second network, the faster network, was using intelligent caching, fetching the whole website to a local server before onward transmission to the end user. In the final case, we looked at some benchmarking. In this case, benchmarking the performance of four mobile network operators in the Middle East. The benchmarking was performed at three different sites across four mobile network operators. As the slides here indicate, one network operator was significantly poorer in download time than the other three. Further, for that network operator, it would have a severe impact on the downloading of video clips on YouTube and result, particularly when above the red line here, in significant impairment for the end user performance. Thanks for listening. If you'd like to see a demo of the quality of experience tool in operation, please click on the link below.